Unlike the other videos we're going to make, this video isn't a how-to PR task, but rather looking at what's involved in the PR career as a whole in a quick overview video. This will be a helpful watch if you have no idea what the public relations career is, but you may be interested. Throughout this video, I will be putting examples of what I'm talking about on the screen to look at while you listen. Starting off, there are many different job positions that exist just within PR itself. Of course, you will likely be doing multiple of these functions depending on factors like if you are working in-house at a business itself, or at an agency with businesses as clients. And it depends on if you're working for a big business or a smaller one, the size of your team, the business's budget, the level of expertise the company wants, etc. What are these different roles? Well, they include publicist, event planner, media coordinator, public affairs specialist, chief marketing officer, copywriter, internal communications executive, external communications executive, director of communications, crisis management, social media manager, and many, many, many more. You get the point. There's areas in which PR becomes intertwined with other disciplines like marketing, sales, and even programmers, with things like giving them notes on how a software or website's user interface should be laid out for the best possible user experience. So, there are plenty of jobs within public relations, as we saw. And, public relations is used in every industry of business from the business to consumer, or B2C sector, where products and services are sold, things like food, fashion, entertainment, and so on, to customers, and then business to business or B2B sector, where things are sold between businesses to other businesses, or from businesses to other professionals. Things like production materials or software for managing businesses and so on. It's important to note, public relations jobs aren't only in average businesses, but there are also positions in other institutions of our society in things like government with public affairs, in healthcare, in the military, by schools in the education sector, in sports, nonprofit charity organizations, and so on. Now looking at some of the functions of PR within a business. So each of these establishments has multiple publics. They have their customers, their potential customers, their employees, the news media, and shareholders. In general, the PR team of an organization is maintaining a good relationship with these publics, hence the name Public Relations. They need to keep the business seen as an entity that cares, provides value, and is relevant in the eyes of these publics. This is done through practices such as PR campaigns, which can be about different things depending on what the goal is. Some goals of PR campaigns include increasing brand awareness, doing something beneficial for a community to increase positive brand sentiment, to generate sales after a product launch, and more. More PR helpful practices include activism in the community, using ethical business practices, which includes internal relations or treating employees with respect, and sourcing production from moral and environmentally friendly sources, continuing to provide a valuable product or service, this can include making new products or updating already existing ones. Making content for social media to gain awareness, to communicate with and answer questions of followers, to post helpful or related information in the industry for establishing the business as a topic authority, etc. Still on the topic of keeping oneself an authority in the industry, it involves creating other pieces of content as well, such as blog posts, YouTube videos, ebooks, and anything that your customer base would find valuable. PR practices also involve staying relevant in the news. This is done through getting media placements from journalists, maintaining an effective brand tone that is tailored toward your audience. This helps the audience trust you more through making the business seem more human-like. A part of this too is creating a moving brand story that showcases the brand's inspiration, what they've achieved so far, and their goals for the future. And crisis communication. This is about taking all the preventative measures to prevent any crisis from happening. And if it does happen, which it always does, it's about being open and honest about what happened with the public and taking the necessary steps to fix it and prevent the same mistake from happening again in the future. One more practice that comes to mind is through getting brand ambassadors or influencers. This is helpful for pushing user-generated content, which includes reviews of your product. This is especially helpful because people are more likely to trust someone that's like them rather than what a corporation says about their own product. So this is why influencer relations is a huge plus. An example of a brand that is doing good in a lot of these aspects is Patagonia. I will be making a case study on them in a video coming soon. That'll be it for this video. I will go in depth on each of these aspects such as internal relations, PR campaigns, community activism, attracting customers, building relationships with journalists, and many, many, many more. So make sure you subscribe so you don't miss out. This has been Newbies PR, the beginning of your PR learning journey. Thank you for watching.